Are you in a place in life right now where uncertainty feels like your enemy? Do you feel like uncertainty of everything in your life is just all around you? Well, today I'm going to show you how the power of uncertainty can help you create an incredible future. We're going to get started right now. Welcome to Inspire With Fire. I'm your host, Josh. Every week, I like to take something from the personal development world. I like to break it down and show you how you can apply that to your Christian walk. And today, we're going to continue talking about Tony Robbins' six human needs. We are on the second human need, and that is uncertainty or variety. Variety is important. Have you ever rented a video or a film that you've already seen? Who's done this? Why are you doing it? You're certain it's good because you read it before, saw it before, but you're hoping it's been long enough you've forgotten if there's variety. My question for you is, do you like surprises? Most people are gonna say, yes, I like surprises. But let's be honest, we only like the surprises that we want. The surprises that we don't want come in the form of problems. I mean, I can tell you right now, if you drove to work this morning and you got a flat tire, that was a surprise, and that's not a surprise that you want. We only want surprises that we want. So uncertainty to us can really work for us and against us. But the real question is, in what ways does uncertainty? It is a basic human need. The variety of life is something that we do need. If we had certainty all of the time, we would be in a place of complete boredom. We cannot have a life. God does not want us to have a life of complete certainty. He wants us to have the variety of life. There are two major portions of uncertainty. There's the positive side of uncertainty and the negative side of uncertainty. And we're going to dive into both of those today. But first, I want to share with you, a couple days ago, I was invited to speak at an event. And during my speech at this event, I decided to share a story, something that happened to me when I was 15 years old. I went hunting for the very first time when I was 15. I went with my father and I went with a couple uncles. I had never been hunting before. And then the second day of hunting, unfortunately, the rifle that my dad had, it was a 30-06 hunting rifle, it discharged on accident, went through the edge of the tailgate, and it shot me. Yes, I was shot. Unfortunately, what ended up happening is I ended up losing all the blood in my body. We were so far back in the woods and we were so far removed from where a hospital was, my heart ended up stopping. Now, that's a miracle in my life. That is something that I embrace because here I am today. I'm able to share with you. I was in the hospital for a long time. I underwent many, many surgeries to help repair what was going on. But God was inside of all of those moments. There's no way humanly possible that I would have been able to survive that without the miracles of God. But my thing is, is how does that tie into uncertainty or variety? This is the thing. I did not understand. My parents did not understand in the moment at the time how that could tie into a positive future for myself and for them. They were uncertain. I was uncertain. They were uncertain if I was even going to live through that event. And I was unsure if I was actually going to be able to keep my leg because of where I got shot. They told me I was going to have to have my leg amputated. And the the beautiful thing about uncertainty is I just didn't understand and they just didn't understand what the purpose was of that event going on at that time. Listen, you may be going through something right now. You may have some struggles that you're going through right now that you're uncertain of. It's easy to be certain of the past, no matter whether it was good or if it was bad. But the point is you were certain of it. It's easy to be certain. The uncertain portions of our lives is the next second, the next minute, the next month, the year, the next 10 years, we're uncertain of those. And with that uncertainty brings variety. How are we going to use what's going on today and even yesterday to help propel, empower the uncertain portions of our lives? With the good portions of uncertainty, we're able to do a lot of wonderful things. Variety, we can bring variety into our lives. We can make choices to change, drastically change things that are going on today in our lives. We can choose to say, you know what, I'm going to be completely uncertain of tomorrow, but I'm going to take this step. Anyway, I'm going to step into the faith and I'm going to head that direction, even though it's uncertain, even though I'm scared today, the reward to make my life better tomorrow is worth it. That's a good portion of uncertainty. But what's the downside of uncertainty? The downside of uncertainty is you may take unnecessary risks. Maybe you're somebody that jumps from job to job to job. Maybe you are. But why? Do you say, because I'm bored, I'm currently bored at my job, I always get really bored at the jobs that I'm at? Is it because that you just need that constant variety, you need that constant change to keep you engaged all of the time? That's a bad portion because you're trading the short-term wins of variety in your life, the short-term of adrenaline that you get 
for long-term problems. Because if you're jumping from job to job, you're not having any consistency in your life and you're not having anything that you can rely on. This is the bad portions of uncertainty. So how can we apply all of this to our walk as Christians? How can we use uncertainty or the variety to help engage ourselves to be more effective in our lives, to power up our lives, to set ourselves on fire for God, for our lives to, to be transformed in an incredible way? How can we use this basic need? First off, I want to tell you that in the background of this video, it's always there. I love that this quote's there, and it's right here. And what that quote says is, the thing that I think that mostly wins is self-awareness. Are you being self-aware? Do you know the things that you are certain of? Do you know the things that you are uncertain of? Are you realizing and being self-aware about the things that are good and bad from those categories? Are you understanding this basic human need because I guarantee you it is a human need and you are applying it one way or the other whether it's good or bad you have to put it into a priority we have to make sure that we're using these to benefit our lives and propel ourselves along our Christian walk how are you doing that are you going to church and you staying in your safe little environment are you not testing yourself stretching yourself causing yourself to grow because if you're not using uncertainty if you're not using variety I can tell you right now, you are not growing. I was a person that sat on everything that God has ever given me for a really long time, and I did not grow. And when I decided to tap into this uncertainty of my basic human need, when I decided to take variety and stick it back into my life, my life became on fire for God and on fire to make other people impacted by what God has done through me. You see, God doesn't do all these things just for you, just for me. He does it to shine through us. So how are you applying variety in your life today to be an impact for God? In what ways are you doing that? Are you being bold? Are you stepping up? Are you saying, you know what? I understand certainty, but what about the uncertainty? What about the uncertainty of my life? What about the variety? Am I being bold enough in my Christian walk to make sure that I'm being an impact for Christ? How are you applying uncertainty in your Christian walk? We talked about in the first episode, which you can go back here, right here, right now, and watch that about certainty, but how are you applying uncertainty? uncertainty in your Christian walk. Remember, self-awareness is everything. We got to be self-aware of what's going on in our lives, how these basic human needs and how we're using them to sculpt the person that we are, creating new habits, creating our personalities. Let's be the driver in this seat. Let's not allow these basic human needs to take over our lives. Let's be in the driver's seat and let's control our own destiny by driving these human needs in the right direction. This episode has been any type of encouragement to you today. I'm going to ask that you go ahead and subscribe and do me a favor, share this out, share this video with somebody that needs to hear this, somebody that needs to understand self-awareness and how to be aware of their basic human needs. Like every week at the end of the episode, I want to talk about a Bible verse, a Bible verse that you can use this week to help you with your variety and your uncertainty, that basic human need that we're talking about today. And it is 1 Colossians verse 16. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. The visible and the invisible. These are things that we are certain and uncertain of. It's all been designed by God to help encourage your life, to push you in a direction that makes you on fire for him and gives you power in ways you never thought were possible. Make sure that you stay tuned for next episode that we are going to talk about significance and how you can apply it to your Christian walk. And we'll see you in the next episode.